So what is AI? AI, the two terms A and I stand for artificial intelligence. You might have heard of, heard of a related term called machine learning, which is more or less same as AI. In a nutshell, AI or machine learning is all about learning from data. Imagine if you're given massive amounts of data and if you can build simple models. Let me explain that with an example. Imagine in a given city, you have the prices of all the homes that are sold in the last two years. Let's just assume, okay? You have, uh, you have features or properties of houses like location, uh, the square footage of the home, the, the number of bedrooms, the number of bathrooms, what type of interiors are there in the home, etc. Given all this information and the price at which the home is sold, imagine you, for a given city you have all of this data for the last few years, maybe two or three or five years. Right? Today, let's assume for those properties or for those houses which are, which are not on the market, can you predict what is the value of these homes? Uh, or can you predict the house prices for those houses which have not which are not for sale right now because that gives an estimate for homeowners who are willing to sell who are thinking of selling their homes it gives them an estimate of how valuable their home is it, it's very commonsensical right if you think about a human being imagine if you're a real estate agent right you would understand or you would estimate the price of a home based on things like okay how is the neighborhood how are the schools in the neighborhood how are the uh, what type of amenities are available what, how, how is the transportation uh, ecosystem looking like in that area? Similarly, is it a safe neighborhood? Is, it, uh, the, is the square footage large? Does the home have a pool or does the home have a beautiful view? And things like this, right? Machine learning systems take all of the historical data, all of the past data and try to predict what a value of a home could be, right? So we're trying to simulate exactly what a realtor or a real estate agent is thinking in his head. That's what machine learning is all about. And with enormous amounts of data that is being collected today, uh, we're, we're collecting thousands of petabytes of data today. And all of this data is making AI possible because with more amount of data that we have, we can build better models, more exciting stuff. Some people have called AI the new electricity. So uh, in, the, in the early 20th century, when electricity became popular, a um, lot of new appliances came into existence. So electricity was like an enabling layer on top of which great stuff were built. Everything from your light bulb to your washing machine to your television uh, and radio and other stuff, right? So electricity became an enabling layer on which great stuff were built. Some, some great thinkers like Andrew Ng, who is, who is one of the most uh, interesting machine learning scientists, also a faculty member at Stanford, says that AI is the new electricity of the 21st century. Because AI is an enabling layer, AI technologies are the enabling layer on which we can impact almost every known industry that we have today. Let me give you an overview of some of the examples. So when you, when you open up a Google app and speak to it, and Google understands it automatically, even your iPhone Siri understands it, right? So the speech to text conversion has improved massively over the last five years. And most of that improvement has come because of advances in AI which have happened in the last 10 years. Similarly, when you go to Amazon, when you're on a, when you're on a product page, when you see a product, Amazon recommends you other products which are similar to that product which you may be interested in buying. That's called product recommendations. And it's estimated that Amazon makes about 35% of their revenues because of product recommendations. So, and all of those product recommendations are built using state of the art in data science, machine learning, and AI algorithms. Other interesting area of applications is medicine. Today, we have cancer diagnosis systems for some types of cancers and for some type of diagnosis we have AI systems that are almost as good as the best doctors in the world. And the best part is this, when the best doctors in the world work along with AI, when they both collaborate, the final system that we get is better than both the AI system and the human doctor. So there is humongous potential for AI impacting our healthcare systems. Next is robotics. Modern robotics have improved a lot because AI's visual systems, so AI is one of the biggest impacts of AI is in visual systems. And all your, robotics, uh, all your robotic systems today have phenomenal computer vision systems because of advances in AI. Let's look at some example. Uh, one, one very interesting example in banking and finance is loan risk assessment. So statisticians have been working on assessing the risk of giving a loan to a person for almost as long as banking has been there. But today, because of the massive amounts of data that we have, also because of new AI algorithms, Banks and financial institutions are better able to predict what is the risk if I give a specific amount of loan to a specific person. 
Similarly, manufacturing is a major area because when manufacturing defects seep into your ecosystem, that creates a bad customer experience, right? Imagine if, if you have a manufacturing plant and let's assume X percent of your products are defective. So those X percent of customers also will feel bad about receiving a defective piece and it's a big headache managing all of it. So there are AI systems that are in production today in, in large manufacturing companies which try to reduce defects using AI systems and machine learning algorithms. So the amount of applications, I mean, pick any field on earth. I'll be able to give you a small example of how AI and machine learning is, is being leveraged today. So I strongly believe in this hypothesis or in, the, in this theory that AI is the new enabling layer and it will impact every major industry that we know of, everything from education to, to space research and even, even, even theoretical physics. I've seen some applications of using data from Higgs boson data, which was uh, from the recent past, uh, and using AI models to better predict whether there is a Higgs boson or not. So I think AI is, is a massive enabling layer and I'm excited to be part of this great revolution.